In order to measure the space-time coordinates of events, we need to establish a reference frame. And basically what that means is establishing some reference point that we take to be zero, and then we measure the position of events relative to that. So here's what this might look like. Maybe Beowulf is going to set a reference frame, and he's going to choose this here to be the zero point, and then he would measure events in space relative to this point. So this far in the x direction, however much in the y direction, and then a z direction heading towards the camera. This is a choice. Beowulf could decide tomorrow, oh, I want, my ref I want to be over here, or my reference frame to be over here. But um, in order to meaningfully de describe a point in space, we need to say, what are we measuring it relative to? That means we're, we're choosing an origin, uh, a starting point for our reference frame. But we're talking about space-time and not just space. So Beowulf would also need to have a clock and could use this clock to measure the time at which events occurred. There's one um, little comp uh, complication, which, as we'll see in the next unit, actually turns out to be the crux of the matter for relativity. Um, and that is, how would we... Okay, so um, Beowulf has time measured here. What if there is a time event over here? So we could imagine um, a grid system where there's a clock maybe every meter along here. And so then if there was an event that occurred somewhere out here, you could measure its position and then figure out its time by reading a clock that was right next to where that um, event occurred. So the image that's on the screen now is one way to picture this. You can imagine a cubic grid of um, like a lattice uh, which can be used to measure the spatial positions. And then at each intersection, there's a little clock. And um, those clocks read the time. So there's some event in space-time, and you can read the space and time coordinates for that event using this reference frame. Lastly, we need to think about um, how we might synchronize those clocks. So we might have a clock here, and a clock here, and a clock here, and a clock here. How would we synchronize all of these clocks that are spread out across this imaginary lattice? So um, for now, in the Newtonian um, notion of time, we would say, how would you synchronize clocks? Well, that's not really a very interesting question, even. And time just is time. It flows on its own. And um, what we could do is have this clock say this is our master clock, move it over here, and they could compare, and then we could set this one, move it over here, move it over here. And so just have one master clock that we walk around, and we use that clock to set every, um, every other clock, no big deal. Okay, so a reference frame is just a way to set um, a zero point in space and a zero point in time or some clock convention so that we can measure space-time coordinates of events.